Wherever you go, tell them that about Sunderland. It's the largest shipbuilding town in the world. The biggest shipbuilding town. Town. Now, you might query that and say, well, what about the time? What about the climb? They're the rivers, not towns. This is solely and completely one town. On the Clyde, on the Tyne, you've got quite a number of townships with shipyards in each township. Now, last year, this river and this town alone was the third highest output in the world. Jackie works at the shipyard and waves a Ben Sigran. And times are better than they were, for we've got cash in hand. We've got cash in hand. We can remember the days when the shipbuilding was redundant and when the mine was too redundant. 1921, 22, 23, shipyards were idle. There's been the hard times in the twenties and thirties too. Scraping and starving from day to day, and lads went out to do. Lads went out to do. Now, I don't think a man, a reasonable man, wants to be lavished in riches. But he wants sufficient, that's all he wants, sufficient. Standing on the corner, weeds grow in the yard. But I must clothe and feed were all, although it's very hard. Aye, it's very hard. Well, I had a good man, you know what I mean? He would go out, he would do something, that he would always bring something in. I mean, he went for coal, he used to go for coal. He got a shilling a bag for the coal, if you were lucky, on pit eight. It was very hard in them times. Some gone to the parish, and some men gone away. For many a home is broken up and loved ones far astray. My father sold his home up three times to live. All that in the house is a table, a chair, and a bed. The yards that have it hard today were foreigners building too. But when this ship is finished, boys, then what will we do? Then what will we do? We're frightened. We're, we're afraid that it's, it's coming back. Overtime and Sunday work, the working nights as we'll. But when this ship is launched and gone, is there another keel? Is there another keel? No, God, let us pray that a thing like that never comes again. Who would be a yard man's wife? The trade is never sure. The pits is bad, but yards is worse. Oh, is the route secure? Oh, is the route secure? But I wouldn't like if I had any more children to come up to put them in the shipyards, mate. There's no future for them, I don't think, in time to come.
one he loves, so swing with me. Let's be walking hard today, let's go go and see. Ah. It was so hard, but we can slip you there, you lie, but soon we'll slip you. We'll launch the ship and we'll hear the keel in one day. Uh, which is fairly good. And uh, it means a lot to the men in the yard. It's another ship to build. It's another order, as I said. It's more work. The men like to see a keel go down, as much as they like to see a ship be launched. In fact, they like a one better to be laid than what it is to be launched. Because the when it's launched, it's finished. More or less to the yard men, you see. It's nice to know that you've got another keel to start. What I want to see is a new keel going down. That's what the worker wants to see. He's got five or six months' work. Mind your eyes. It's flash and it smells as we're working away. And the shell plates are joined up by welding today. For modern shipbuilding, well, that's all the trend. So the flash makes us blind. Says the welders, amen. Now you might think a riveter is idle today, but ships need their rivets and I need me pay. Though the welders are taking me work now when then, steel rivets are better. Says the riveters, amen.
forgets all the work in the shipyard today. For we are the places so fresh and so gay. And if you've got steelwork, just say where and when. For us lads will fix it. Says the places are men. We are the shipwrights in the yard where the lads. But the platers get our work and that makes us mad. For every job we get, the platers get ten. They're pinching our work, says the shipwrights are men. There's smoke up the chimney, there's smoke in your throat. It's all part of building the bonny bit boat. The furnace is raw and we sweat now and then, but we'll make up for it later, says the blacksmith's amen. trades down there on the berth the skill of their hands for what is it worth unless to a pattern the labor is planned for designers and craftsmen must go hand in hand Shipbuilding industry today, the constructional method has changed entirely. But I'm still proud to do my job and to do it the proper and correct way. Now, strikes, 99%, I should say, have been through lack of consultation with the people involved with that type of work. They've done a type of job the old fashioned way. Perhaps it's been a plater that's done that type of work. Perhaps me that's done the job for years. The next ship comes along, I find out the fault of the method in building, and the shipwright's going to do it. Oh, I've got a good grouse. I've got a good kick. The people on the managerial side, or the manager himself, has took my birthright away from me, and he has no right to do it. So I'm going to kick and kick bloody hard. I'm going to kick a stink up. Now, with consultation on all three sides, there could be an amicable arrangement drawn up, and that would save any disputes strikes or any trouble at all because i've always contended that strikes no good to no man that's money lost and it's never got back never i've walked in the shipyard since i was a lad and the times have been good and the times have been bad but we surely must need ships for our island shore. But will orders keep coming, and how many more? For the strangers as that come, there'll be speeches champion. But we get no bonus or extra that's plain. So I'll spit on me hands, put me cap on me head. For I hope I'll build ships, boys, until I'm dead. When is the lunch for all you worked on them? Day in, day out, in rain, hail, snow, sunshine, sweat. And the day comes that it's got to go down the ways and into the water. It's something that draws you to the luncheon platform to watch that ship go into the water. I named this ship Evis Faith. May God bless her and all who sail in her.
my people and my people before them have cheered, knowing well that that night or the following day or at the end of the week, they'll be paid off. The big hull slipped down and would think of the start. From the keel to the deck, we have all played our part. Each man to his trade, his own skill must apply. For walk is what both right, no one can deny.